How's it going guys? Leon here. Today we are going to learn to render floor plans using chameleon markers. So for those of you who don't know, chameleon markers are these awesome alcohol-based markers that make blending and fading colors super easy. To achieve this awesome blending and fading effects, Chameleon pens have this super awesome fusion technology behind them. So when using chameleon markers, you just have to take note of three things. One is you have the main body of the chameleon pen or the main chameleon pen which contains our main color and attached to that is a colorless top right here. So this colorless top is what you use to make color fades from light to saturated. And last part but not the least, you have the color tops. Okay, so this color tops is what you use to blend different colors to our main pen. So with this, you could create super cool blending effects that would be hard to achieve with normal alcohol markers. Okay, so now that you guys are up to speed, let's begin drawing our floor plan. Oh yeah, before we do that, I would just like to thank the awesome people at Chameleon Art Products that sent me this 52 pen super set. So if you guys are interested in their products, I will leave a link in the description down below. Okay, now we can begin drawing our floor plan. For this plan, I am just going to make a simple bedroom with access to a courtyard. I'm not going to go all out and draw a whole house because that will take a while and we're on a little bit of a tight schedule. So first thing we need to do is to draw in pencil our basic floor plan. I usually like to begin by drawing the large areas first, then we proceed with the furnitures, and lastly, we go ahead and add the finer details. Once we are finished with that, we can now proceed with my favorite part, which is rendering our floor plan. Okay, so for the main floor of our bedroom, we are going to render it to look like wood planks. And for that, we are going to use the fawn colored marker. And to make our floor look a bit more extra, we are going to do some gradient effects near our windows to make it seem like light is entering through the doors and windows. So to do that, I'm just going to get our colorless top and attach it to the brush tip of our fawn marker. As for the fuse time, we are going to fuse this for 9 seconds. So I'm going to start by coloring from the left window moving inward. We are going to repeat the same gradient effect on our entrance door and our sliding door near our courtyard. After coloring the floors, I now proceed to coloring the area rug at the foot of the bed. And for this, I use the color labeled Aquamarine. I use this color because it is a complementary color for a slightly orangey floor. For the fade effect of our area rug, I decided to fade inward from both sides of the rug and to do so I fused the pens for 6 seconds on each side. The great thing about alcohol markers is if you make an oopsie, it is relatively easy to correct. So I made a little oopsie on the carpet right here and to fix that, I went over the affected area with the colorless blending pen. Then I went back to our aquamarine pen, fused it for around 4 seconds and I just went over the oopsie area until it doesn't look like a mistake anymore. If only I could use a colorless blender to fix my life mistakes. Anyways, after coloring the carpet, we now proceed to coloring in the bed. So for the duvet, I used the sky blue color and for the pillows, I used warm gray number 3, which is a color that could ironically be used to describe my complexion. Dang it, bad skin! Anyways, I used a 2 second fuse time for each of the pillows since it is pretty small. After coloring in the bed, we now proceed to rendering our courtyard's floors. So for the courtyard, we are going to use warm gray number 3 again to make the floor look like gray slate tiles. And this is where the fading effect feature of our chameleon markers shine. With the fading effect, you could easily make randomly colored slate tiles, which makes our floor look so much better than just having a single shade of gray. Insert 50 shades of gray joke, I'm too lazy to come up with one, so you guys could just improvise your own 50 shades of gray joke. Thanks. Anyways, as I was saying, by fusing the warm gray number 3 pen for 10 seconds, I'm able to make lots of different gradients of gray with just one pen. So the key to making the slate tiles look really good is to make the arrangement as random as possible. And with the chameleon pens, this task is super easy and so much fun. So once the marker goes back to its original color, I just go ahead and fuse it again for 10 seconds and just repeat the whole process. Once we're done with our courtyard slate tiles, we now move on to rendering our plant life. The first color we are going to use is olive green. So for the small shrubs, I used a fuse time of 2 seconds and for the larger plants, I used 5 second fuse time. So the key to making any landscape plan look good is to use a variety of colors. So for this landscape, the various colors that I used are green apple, dark sage, and warm sunset respectively. And I used the same fuse times as our first plants. When that's done, I used the taupe color to fill in the blank areas of our plant box. Once we're done with that, we can now proceed to inking our floor plan. I always like to start by inking the walls first. For this, I'm going to use a 0.8 micron pen. After the walls, we now will ink the windows and furniture using a 0.1 micron. Then after that, we add some finer details with our 0.5 micron pens. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Okay, now that we're done with the details, we now just have to fill in the walls to make the plan look super cool and to cover up some of our overlapping colors, mainly just to cover up our overlapping colors. So now we are almost done and our plan looks quite good as it is, but right now it will probably get you a B plus at best, but we ain't no scrub to settle on some peasant B plus. We're all about them A grades up in this building, yo. I don't know why I sounded like some wannabe rapper. Anyways, to make this floor plan worthy of an A, or an A+, we are going to try and improve our wooden floor by adding some randomly colored wood planks. Cause as it is right now, our floor looks really boring. So to unboringize our floor, un unboringize is that a word? Unboringize should be a word. Okay, going, going back to topic, to unboringize our floor, we are just going to add some random wood planks with our fawn color. And the floor looks pretty good right now. All we have to do is add the finishing touches. We begin by coloring our bedside tables with cool gray number five. And the bed looks kind of bland, so we're just gonna go ahead and color that in with cool gray number five as well. Awesome, now to make our floor plan pop, we are going to add some shadows to give it a bit more of a dimension. Cause right now it looks a little bit flat, so the shadows will add that 3D, somewhat 3D effect. So for our shadows, we are going to use warm gray number three. And let's just add our shadows next to our furnitures and maybe some on the walls. Now let's go back to our exterior slate tiles and let's put a little bit of green on the edges of the tiles to simulate grass growing in between the cracks. For that, we are going to use the dark sage color and just begin by randomly adding grass on the edges of our slate tiles, like so. Already, that just looks super good and we're almost done. So all that's left is to ink our floor texture with our 0.5 micron. We are now done to our last finishing touch, which is adding a bit of summer sun color on our bedside tables to make it look like the lamps on our bedside tables are lit. So if everything goes as to plan, this color is going to add a little bit more ambience as they say. And I think we're done guys. So that is how to render floor plans using chameleon markers. Okay, so this video took me a while to do. I had to retake like three times cause I keep messing up the floor plan and the pressure of having all these cameras pointed at me was super hard to deal with. In retrospect, I should have practiced first before recording, but oh well, what you're gonna do? What's done is done. <laughs> Anyways, my point is guys, don't get frustrated if you mess up and don't give up. Just keep having fun with it because architecture is super fun. To be honest guys, I really had fun doing this whole floor plan video. I hope you guys followed along and had fun too. Anyways, with that said, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe down below for more videos like this from me your boy Lian I will see you guys on my next video flying peace